So now if you could, again, be as comfortable as you can, I'm gonna lead a short meditation on creating a field of merit, uh, it would be called in some Buddhist circles. This is like the palace of the gambler, though I'm not suggesting that. This is learning how to construct in your own mind a refuge that when you step into it, both your heart and your mind find calmness, find peace, find nourishment and potential. So first begin to get in touch with the sensation of your breathing. Noticing the in-breath. Noticing the out-breath. And noticing the in-between breath. And now see if you can relax a little more into that breath, circle, cycle of life. Making sure your shoulders are relaxed. Your neck is not stiff or stuck. It's fluid. You can literally feel the rising and falling of your abdomen. And then imagine appearing around you a circle of loving kindness. People, plants, animals that may have gifted you with loving kindness in your experience with them. Let the human faces and body shapes become more prominent so you can offer them a smile. And around that circle, mentors, teachers, guides, pastors, preachers, religious leaders, social leaders, ecological leaders around you. Lifting up your own good heart. Reminding you of your potential your possibility remaining still in every moment of your life. And further out in the circle of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas and Buddhas around you, mystical beings and a further circle out, feel supported by the whole energy spectrum of consciousness. And let the light of that gathering shine within you and on you. Let the light penetrate your cells.
all your organs, bones, tissues, neurons, muscles, toes, whole body. And relaxing now into the light. Without effort. Recognize the sensation of safety you feel at this moment. Now follow each breath, each in-breath, each out-breath, back to full awareness of where your body is at this moment, at this time. Move slowly as you look around your space, the walls and windows and ceilings and floors. Notice your breath is still easy and calm. This is just one example of such kind of contemplation. Please experiment and invent as many as you can for yourself so that you always have a sense of access to what Carolyn Meist would call access to a floor in a building that is the penthouse and not the first floor. Even though we live on all these floors of consciousness, learning how to access the penthouse gives us perspective on all the other floors as we practice our liberation. Thank you.